why is there no YouTube for text? And does it mean that the days of text are numbered? For text, the closest that we can get is the browser, which is a curation service run by humans in the form of a newsletter. It recommends five articles, a video and a podcast every day. The articles are always interesting and worth your time. The podcast recommendations are reasonably good too. However, the video recommendations just don't do it for me. That may be because the YouTube algorithm is so good that no human can match it. Why aren't there any algorithms for recommending text and articles? I mean, there are text article recommendation systems and they are called newspapers and magazines. And some of them can be good from time to time, but it is nothing like YouTube, TikTok or Instagram. One of the reasons could be that video is more accessible than text. It is less taxing, easier to consume and easier to form an opinion about. We are visual creatures and we make sense of the world through our eyes. It is no surprise that a video is worth more than a few thousand words. A lot of text is gated and not freely available. It is surprising that most of the video content is not. I mean sure, there are movies and TV shows and we have to pay money to watch them, but they are a small fraction of what is available free of charge. Human beings learn to write because we wanted to keep track of debt. We wanted to keep a record of how much one person owes another. That requirement has not gone away. At a fundamental level, text will still have to exist. The business world will continue to need its contracts and spreadsheets and memos and presentations and emails. For entertainment, however, video will continue to dominate. Thinking about entertainment is not trivial. Brighter future means greater prosperity, more resources and time on hand, which means more resources and time to spend on entertainment.